Well, for my YouTube friends, I'm uh, working on the uh, clay again today, and I'll come back uh, later with uh, what I've done today. Like I said, I'm just not showing everything that I'm doing uh, on YouTube because uh, it's going to be an instructional DVD, and uh, the reason you buy my instructional DVD is to get the stuff you don't see on uh, YouTube. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get to work on this guy, and uh, somebody last night suggested that uh, I... Uh, He liked the symmetry of the hand down on the horse's neck, and he kind of wanted the uh, Indian girl to be touching her, him, maybe his leg or something like that. Um, I told him the reasons why I don't do that is because uh, a lot of times I go by what I feel, and uh, my my feeling at that moment was to. Uh, uh, Put the shield where I put it eventually, and uh, to not have her, him, her touching him. But last night, uh, while I was uh, laying in bed, I was thinking about that, and I thought I might be able to work that out to where uh, she's not actually touching his leg, but she's got her hand on the horse and maybe uh, just slipping the ends of her fingers underneath the uh, pants leg of the uh, Native American or the Indian. I, and the reason for that is because I, I don't think they showed a lot of uh, uh, public uh, displays of affection. Uh, I think they went off and did it privately or inside the teepee or someplace private, like I said. And uh, I just don't think they were the type of people to do that. It uh, diminishes uh, the warrior status of the... Uh, gentlemen and uh and the warrior status was everything uh to the uh warrior because of that i'm going to leave the uh, shield flat because i think uh, the design i want to do on the uh, shield will reflect the uh, better if i do it flat uh, i've made a more permanent uh shield and I showed how to do that on uh, my video. I'm going to work on his arm right now because I want to get that hand worked out and uh, and just get to that point. Just taking the whole thing slowly and uh, deliberately. I've got uh, Todd Connor coming today and uh, so I'm just not going to be able to work on this this much today but uh, I try to work as much as I can on it while I can. He wants to uh, work on his dad's portrait and uh, we want to get that thing done so he can take it to the foundry. All right, and as you can see, it's uh, daylight outside. So I'll come back later and uh, show you what I've done. All right, this is uh, just to let you know what I've been doing. I've been working on his leg and this hand position. I took it off the leg only because I think it works better where I've got it now. Been, and I've been working on the uh, structure of the leg, the muscle structure, of the gluteus maximus back here, and... Uh, well, I've just been generally working on the anatomy in small areas. I can't find the shield that I made. It's around here somewhere. I just don't know what the hell I do with it. Anyway, I'm going to have his shield on his hand here. I didn't want to cover up uh, this uh, leg, but uh, I didn't want to cover it up too much, and I certainly didn't want to put all the work into his upper body and cover that up too. So what I did was I decided to move the shield in this area. Uh, I kind of like that even better. <sighs> the, 
but I anchored this hand onto the horse here and I, I eventually took the I, I you know the uh, suggestion from the uh, gentleman who commented last night on YouTube uh, about the uh, symmetry of the hand and arm and I think I'm going to do that uh, not sure what the woman's going to be doing yet but uh, this is uh, what I'm thinking I like the shield there because it, the round design complements everything else that's going on the uh, there's a, there's an old Greek way of sculpting and you what you do is you try to do s curves and triangles and circles but you you want to keep all the attention on the sculpture you don't want to have something that's out here flying out that uh, draws your attention away from the sculpture everything has to bring your attention back into the composition all right everybody that's going to be it for to uh today and I'll see you uh, next time. I'm not sure I'll be working on this tomorrow. I may have to make a run to Bozeman yeah, some tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.